What's up, everybody? I'm Jonathan Sewell Sales and Mitchell Mazda on the boulevard in Enterprise, Alabama. And the 2022 Mazda CX-5s are beginning to land in the U.S. The sad part is it's not my side of the country. It's the other side, the West Coast. But thankfully, there's some Mazda dealers who are pretty quick to get some videos and photos online so we can jump on in and answer some of those questions like new wheels, carbon addition, etc., etc. So let's dive in. More, 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 more carbon. More, 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 more carbon. So let's jump in with the new premium, and it's the beautiful deep crystal blue. As you see right up front, thanks very much to Capistrano Mazda um, for having these on your website and allowing us to uh, show them. Here is uh, that front fascia with the new design, new LEDs, and uh, new bumper. Looks beautiful. New uh, horizontal grill there, so a little bit wider uh, pieces in that grill. Now here's the uh, front uh, fascia front quarter a little bit closer in at those headlights so uh, we know that they're going to be new and this is uh, on the premium should be the signature lighting sliding on over here's the rear quarter now you have a, a, a new design in the rear fascia as well and look at those wheels we'll have a, a close-up view here in a minute but these are the wheels I was most excited about and hoping for uh, that were on the European Active uh, model or the Japanese Active. And we have them on the GT. So these are the GT or the premium, the old GT wheels. Still 19 inch and sort of that old pizza wheel design kind of reimagined. Here's a look at the rear. Now if you notice still dual exhaust, not too certain what that middle uh, compartment is for. I can only assume it's for some type of tow package or something like that. Um, we'll see this again, but still not sure what that uh, slot is for. Here's a close-up of those wheels. You can see two-tone, very stylish, and I think if you can tell how they're designed, probably designed to get a little bit uh, better wind management across the wheel there for fuel economy. I really like them. Now we're going to jump on over to a, a few of Capo Mazda's uh, YouTube videos that they've sent to the, some prospects. So the first one here is on the Select, and it's a beautiful soul red crystal. You can kind of see a glimpse down there at the bottom of the new wheel, the new 17-inch wheel on the Select. So this is a tour Touring, formerly a Touring model. And you can see that these have the uh, similar uh, headlight designs of the um, premium that we just looked at. And just, you know, again, that's pretty tight, but here's a look inside the vehicle. Not much going on different inside other than some uh, colors and some new updates on some of the other models. So this one does have the leatherette uh, with the uh, suede inserts. Looking at another video here, this one is of the Carbon Edition. Per my last video on the CX-5s, I wasn't sure what wheels it would have, and it appears that it is matching the black tone. It does have the same 19-inch wheel from 21, so the same uh, former GT-style wheel, but gloss black. So I'm excited about that because I really like that wheel. And so you can see this has the same uh, updated fascia, does not have the painted cladding. So that was another question I had. So the Carbon Edition does not have painted cladding, and kind of hard to see in this light here from the front, but looks like the black chrome instead of the gloss black. Man, it's hard to tell. Could be a gloss black. Just hard to tell with that sun coming in over it. But a uh, beautiful style, whether it's gloss black or a little bit of that black chrome, it's, it's beautiful. And um, excited again to have the Carbon Edition, although it is no longer available in turbo or no longer has the Bose. Now let's jump to the second Mazda dealer, Bakersfield Mazda in California. Uh, they had their 360 view uh, videos on their website. So we'll just go through these real quick. Um, they're just about uh, a minute each. So as we're walking around here, you see beautiful snowflake white pearl, the beautiful premium again with the new wheels. 
Going around the back, you can see that new fascia design and the uh, new headlights and tail lights. So just a beautiful vehicle. And we've got a few more colors in the premium that we'll take a look at here as we go around. And I'm gonna speed these up just a little bit so we can uh, just admire the new colors or the old colors in the new design. Did wanna show you this part of this video. It kinda of goes through a little bit of the interior so you can see not much changes there on this premium model. And here is the beautiful jet black Mica. You can see again, this is a premium. So those beautiful new wheel designs. Still not sure what that slat in the rear is. And here's a look at the uh, black leather. Still have the uh, brown or gold stitch pattern. And here is the machine gray metallic. Lastly, the Eternal Blue. I'm so excited about the 22 CX-5s. And just to give you a little bit of a comparison, I have one on the way, which uh, you know, you guessed it, it's a Carbon Edition. It was produced the 10th of December and actually should arrive to port somewhere around the 8th is the tentative day um, so realistically probably we'll have this vehicle by the 15th of january now these vehicles that we looked at from other dealerships in california were produced on the first so they have about a 10-day head start they've been there about a week or so from what i can tell from these videos being released so mine's not too far behind and you know when that vehicle drops on the boulevard a video won't be too far behind it. Until then, I'm going to keep my ear to the ground for all the latest CX-5 news and see if we can spot some turbos or turbo signatures coming into California before we get them here on the boulevard. So we can dive into the full lineup and see exactly how great this new CX-5 will be. If you have any comments or questions, drop them down below and I'll see you on the next one.